Hello, girly pop. Today, I am going to take off every book from my bookshelf and then reorganize it and then give you the tour. It's a bit of an overwhelming task, so I've been sitting here for two hours procrastinating it. Not sure if you can see, but here's the overview. There are just many random piles of books because I'm running out of space a bit. But here's my plan. I'm going to take off the books by genre. For example, YA, but then also more specifically, YA fantasy, YA romance. And then I'm gonna go through it like that and then we're gonna try to reorganize. So I'm just gonna start making piles of books all around my house. Let's get started. I am so overwhelmed already. All right, let's get started. <laughs> let's just get to it. Let's start doing it. Okay, I'm gonna start now. Here's all my YA fantasy, as well as this whole shelf. Let's do some reorganizing. What if we took all of these out? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> my bookmark, that's where it is. It's in this freaking book. I'm coming back to that book soon. Sometimes it's just fun to switch up the placement of your book so you can see new ones. Here I made a little pile of thrillers. It's a good stack, but I have like a ton of young adult fantasy, which I didn't realize. Should we make a romance pile? I think we should. All right, here is the romance pile. A lot of it is YA romance specifically. There's only a few books left without a pile, so I'm now making a classics pile and a nonfiction, basically Christian pile. I only have like one adult fantasy, so it'll just have to go with the young adult fantasies. I have about one historical fiction. <laughs> oh, this is also adult fantasy. <laughs> These are some new books that I bought, all under the theme of being sad, possibly for a video. Here's the final thriller pile. These are literary fiction. This is a tiny stack of nonfiction Christian, but most of it is upstairs. My tiny stack of classics. Okay, now I can start putting everything back on the shelf. I'm gonna need some energy to complete this task, which is perfect because this video is sponsored by Celsius. You guys know I actually am obsessed with them. Oh my gosh. This is one of their new sparkling flavors, lemon lime. And in my opinion, it might be the best sparkling flavor they've ever made. I drink one of these before playing ultimate frisbee every single week. It just gives you good energy, motivation. But if you've had their sparkling flavors before, you should definitely try the lemon lime. It's the best one they've ever made in my opinion. Okay, let's get these books on some freaking bookshelves. It's me the next day and my books are still everywhere, but we have these two shelves done. And I was taking a look at how absolutely deep and tall these shelves are. And I was wondering if I should just kind of stack them horizontally. I'm just gonna test it out and see what it looks like real quick. You know what I mean? Could be kind of cool, right? I don't know, for this one, I kind of like the messy aesthetic of just like them being everywhere. It's like one of those Disney movies where an author has a crazy study. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Okay, I like that. This is a book written by the Kardashians and I was gonna read it for a video, but then I just never had the motivation. It's called Dollhouse by Kourtney Kim and Khloe Kardashian. It's a novel about an exciting, high profile, complicated family. Sounds familiar. It's actually written by them. Cat. Kyle, Camille, Cass, no way. Oh my gosh, this book is actually hilarious. Maybe one day I will film this video where I read the book that the Kardashians wrote. Some people might really hate this, but I like this. It's so chaotic, I love it. Some people are going to roast me, I feel like, for this, but I have this like Disney movie idea in my head of just crazy artist vibes, you know? makes sense to you, you know? Yeah, honestly, I like it. I kind of have this idea of putting books on the top of this. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Does this look so dumb? Ooh, that looks really strange. Scratch that. Perhaps we keep this shelf the same because it's kind of the iconic series like Twilight, Harry Potter, and then the Crave series because it's like kind of the Twilight copycat series. My outfit is purely because of how cold it is outside. It's not fashionable whatsoever. Now what? Ooh, that looks strange. Yeah. Maybe I should put books I need to read on these stacks and then books I've already read in here. Yeah. 
that's stacked in there like a sausage. This is one of my prettiest series. It's the Throne of Glass series, but with alternate covers from a different website where you have to like buy the hardbacks and then the hardback covers. This is kind of satisfying looking. I like this over here. I think I just finished it. Time for the tour. Okay, welcome to the official book tour. I feel like I'm giving myself a book tour because it feels like I just inherited someone else's bookshelves. I have no idea where all my books are. So I decided to make this the chaotic bookshelf. I like it, don't mind it. We have the Cruel Prince trilogy, my favorite trilogy ever. And then we have absolutely random books up here. But then all of these are romance books. We've got the pink, we've got the blue. That was probably the most aesthetically pleasing shelf on its own. And then down here, we roughly have the yellow, orange, green, purple, white romance books, and then random romance books here. This bottom shelf is my favorite because it's the most packed and I love the colors. So we've got all my thrillers in these two rows and then this is kind of the literary fiction, random nonfiction as well, which are also very pretty colors. As you can see here, I have three copies of The Do-Over by Lynn Painter and she put my name and you guys in the acknowledgements. Craziest moment of my entire book reading career probably. But she's the sweetest author ever and she wrote better than the movies, which I have two copies of here, paperback because it's yellow and hardback because it's blue. Favorite YA romance book of all time. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We've got Beach Read by Emily Henry. Of course, you guys all know that one, but it's actually one of my all-time faves. I just read Tweet Cute, which looks like it's marketed towards 12-year-olds, but it's actually seniors in high school who curse. <laughs> I know, crazy, and I really like that book as well. The Summer of Broken Rules, this one's so good. The Roughest Draft, another five-star romance. We've got Christmas books, which I just recently read on my vlog channel. Yeah, that's just a little overview. Honestly, all these thrillers came from like one month of me being obsessed with thrillers. It was a wild month, but let's move on. Okay, directly next to that bookshelf, we have the couch and then this TV stand. So in this section, it's the most hidden one. So I have some book of the month books, Kardashian book, Atomic Habits, which I need to finish. I have only read like five chapters of that book. Random Fantasy and then Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney, crazy thriller book. Two copies of the Atlas Six, the self-published version and the traditionally published version. And then another Dark Academia book on the bottom. Very extremely random shelf. Here we have three C.S. Lewis books. I have more upstairs, more Christian nonfiction upstairs. These are just the ones that came downstairs once and got stuck down here. More Christian books. And then we have some YA sad books, a Bible and an interiors coffee table book. Also extremely random stack of books. Mm -hmm. Too hot for this. I'm wearing my thermal undergarments today because I went outside and it was actually cold. Okay, now we're directly under the TV and this is just my favorite section of the entire living room. I love looking at the TV and seeing this. It just makes the space so much cozier. So I decided to switch it up a little bit and put the Shatter Me series here with the little novellas. I kind of just like when books alternate format, shape, horizontal, vertical. We have the Dance of Thieves duology. So good. The Red Queen trilogy, but now it's like five books or something. And then we have some random fantasy YA one-off books right here. Here we have the first three books of the Throne of Glass series. And then we've got the Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows duology and trilogy. The Court of Thorns and Rose series, most famous fantasy romance books of all time. The Caraval trilogy, and then the Once Upon a Broken Heart duology spin-off. And then the Fable namesake pirate fantasy duology. If you don't watch tons of book content, you probably have no idea what I'm saying. If you do watch tons of book content, you know exactly what I'm saying. Over here, we have the Inheritance Games trilogy, so good. The Truly Devious series. I read the first one, thought I bought the second one. This one's actually the third one, so I need to go back to the bookstore to find the second one. Random first Harry Potter book in paperback. Two out of the three books of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. The other one is in a different room because I loaned it to someone. And then we have this fantasy romance duology. Ender's Game, which Ryan made me read in The Husband Controls My Books for a week video, and I unexpectedly loved this book. It's sci-fi, weirdly written. Changes from like first person to second person into third person, but it's amazing. The first two books in the Infernal Devices series, when I get all the books in the series, it's gonna look so cool because they like match up like one big picture. The These Hollow Vows duology, and then These Violent Delights, which I read like half of and then put down, unfortunately, did not like it. And then this is kind of the iconic shelf. We've got, oh no, these are all backwards now. The Twilight series, which it's almost the end of the freaking year again. And this is the second year that I said I'm gonna read Twilight for the first time since middle school. And I think I'm actually terrified to like not like it or something because I just always refuse 
every year to read it. Even though I want to, I never actually do. I have mental block with it or something. It was just my favorite book of all time as a kid and I don't want to ruin it for myself if it's not that good as an adult, you know what I mean? Holding on to that sweet, sweet childhood memory for a little bit longer. Then we have the first three books in the Crave series, which is like a weird Twilight spinoff. I mean, it's not actually a Twilight inspired series, but like kind of. And then the Harry Potter series minus the first book because that's upstairs somewhere. These are my miniature Lord of the Rings series books that I got from Half Price Books. I just got like all different versions of them because I love the tiny little mass market paperbacks. Three dark academia books here. If We Were Villains is probably one of my favorite books of all time, I think. And then we have adult fantasy. I have like two adult fantasy, have not read either. Then we have young adult fantasy, more young adult fantasy and dystopian. And then here I have the classics. These are the only classics I own. Very sad classics area right now. And then some journals, some book journals and planners right there. Here's my little filming setup if you watch my book channel. And I think I'm just gonna keep the Throne of Glass series here. It's just really pretty all together by the little chess set. And then lastly, I still have a few books that are wrapped up from me randomly choosing books off of my TBR, which I have a vlog still coming soon. I've read two out of the four books that we randomly chose off of these wrapped books, so still working on that. And here's some random books in jail. These are like all the gift books that I've gotten and they just have stayed there for some reason. That is the entirety of the book tour. If you watch my book videos, thank you so much. I genuinely have had so much fun making book videos. It's like brought to life my, I don't know, creativity with YouTube and enjoyment and like community aspect of YouTube. So it's been one of honestly the biggest blessings that's happened. So yeah, I love books. I love the community. I love reading together. Such a wholesome time. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you on Instagram or TikTok or my book channel. Bye.